here's where we are with Bitcoin. We're approaching that uh, 8,000 level, and we've got plenty of room to the upside up to the mid to upper 9,000 range, as I stated before. This is your major pattern right here, and that's your minor. Remember, um, when something duplicates, reduplicates itself in, in patterns and so forth, but it, it creates a shadow pattern, let's say, um, you know, that reduplication is a great indication of uh, what future price is likely to do. Um, and uh, let's go over and take a look. So we've got the bigger pattern, then uh, we created the smaller one. Then it retraced all the way back up to here, up to that 7,700. And if you remember, I had some trades up here where I sold it. I bought, sold, bought, sold, bought again. And you'll have seen those trades and they were almost ping-ponging perfectly. Um, the last one was the exit at uh, 6,900 and under. That was perfect. And that was uh, then the entry is long. And then we get our move up to the upside here. Fantastic. Um, I have bought a whole bunch of crypto related stuff. Mainly, I became very bullish on BSB, uh, especially down here at under 80. Um, I, I've seen their buying and I've seen them pushing prices down on small volume and orders and uh, that was very bullish to me so I, I kind of went over uh, the amount that I was planning to buy on this and uh, uh, took a larger position down here when we went under that 80 level and uh, it's spiked up but not really interesting until we get to much higher numbers again this has a pattern very similar to uh, Bitcoin, so there's nothing to the to the 140s on this is clear upside, and <laughs> due to the scammy or manipulative, let's call it behavior. I don't know if it's Calvin Air or Craig Wright or whoever. They're they're not very smart in the way they they show the, their order flow. It makes it very easy to go over and see their planning and and whatnot. But they they could manipulate this up very quickly, and it. it you know, it, it makes it very interesting, a little more interesting than I would normally would think it would be, but um, that's why it's got a larger position than I normally would. Um, so I, I feel very strongly that this has got some great upside potential on a percentage basis. So we'll see what happens with that. But other than that, you know, my views on Bitcoin, I've got nothing to do until we get to, towards the mid to upper 9,000 range. And it looks like we're making good progress. I do have a short-term trade that could execute above 8,000. I'm not going to tell you exactly where, but it goes all the way back down to a certain level. And that'll just be a smaller trade in between. Um, but other than that, we're looking for up here. And nothing to really do but wait. And wait to be great. And other, I'll update you guys later on when something else interesting happens. Other than that, have a great week and welcome to the, the 2020s <laughs> already.